The Congress's mantra for this election has been Yatras. It's the flavor of the season for them. Both Sudramaya and DK Shiv Kumar, after their successful sprints with Rahul Gandhi at the Bharat Jodo Yatra, if you know what I mean, also went on their own Yatra, the Praja Dwani Yatra, which they said is meant to expose the failures of the BJP government in Karnataka. One second, there is also a similar Yatra by the BJP. It's called the Vijay Sankalp Yatra to highlight essentially the BJP government's achievements. But we'll have to wait and see, as is the case with all of our campaigns as to whether they will pay any rich dividends as far as the voters are concerned. And now, let's focus on what's happening in the Janata Dal. H.D. Kumaraswamy is leading the party now and he no doubt faces his toughest challenge in this particular election. He can't rely on the Congress, he can't rely on the BJP because this time the JDS is completely on their own. I want to start by asking the most pertinent question which is there on everybody's minds. Can the king maker finally become the king? We don't really understand uh, what is king and king maker. Not the number of votes or number of seats which matters. Kumar Sam is the only person who is working for pro poor and pro development. So definitely we are kings. Both the Congress and BJP have gone public to say they won't ally with Kumar Swami. Once bitten, twice shy, essentially. And so just like that, HDK has played his most vital card. What do you think it is? He's broken down again. Deva Udru Yvatu, Ya Parisiti Lidare, Nan Bavanena, Nan Bavana, Bavanat Makwada Jivinano, our Sernail Terbedi, now than Bitkotilla, our Budukmukian and Gedeva Udru, Nan Munde, our in Katri Takanta Puxa, Yvatano, Nuripasit Kilbeku, then Ortine, our Kanaka Kurati Kotrazo. And to make matters worse, the JDS has another task in hand to handle the rumored infighting between party chief H.D. Kumaraswamy and his brother H.D. Revanna. Despite the fact that Kumaraswamy might deny a seat to his wife Bhavani Revanna, will Revanna still support Kumaraswamy? Wouldn't there be any disgruntlement between them <laughs> as political leader? See, in politics is a game of aspirations. Everybody wants, everybody thinks that you know they, they can contribute in a better fashion. This time also the High Command has decided that we would not uh, have Bhavani Revanna as candidate. And tomorrow if at all we think that Bhavani Revanna is the right candidate, we would definitely consider. Everybody obeys, believes in uh, uh, the decision which is taken by the High Command. The party that's always been called as the kingmaker have this year turned rather ambitious, calling themselves the pride of Karnataka. Why? Because they're saying we're the only true Kannadiga party. HDK thereby has started off his own rallies, his own strategy, where he's called his campaign Mission 123, Mission 123. And for a change, trying to stake claim single-handedly. So this time as well, if Kumaraswamy would want to get the throne of the chief minister's chair, they would have to, if history speaks any truth, they would have to get into a coalition. So as a last resort, would you ever side with BJP or Congress? As a last resort, we would side with the people of Karnataka and expect them to give us 121 seats. We would beg to the people of Karnataka that this time, as we all know the way great job the regional parties are doing here in down south and the way Mamta Energy is working, please give us an opportunity to save the culture, save tradition and chor chor mosere bhai. It is, a, it, is a, uh, um, it is a proverb which is said in North India that both these shows are definitely going and doing drama but people of Karnataka are definitely going to, go to give a befitting reply to both these national parties.